welcome back friends so uh, we have received many requests from our viewers and students that uh, we should cover basic surgery procedure basic uh, minor surgery procedure also so in that direction this is the first series that is the management of ingrowing toenail or abbreviated as IGTN uh, friends so uh, this will be a whole series and we have splitted this series in three part the first part is theoretical discussion second third part will be the live surgery so this is the first part and in the first part the more emphasis will be on uh, the local anesthesia what are the different anesthetic agent available like lignocaine 1% 2% with ADR without ADR the bibubacaine how to calculate the maximum dose like you have a patient uh, who is a child who is one year old 10 kg and with the laceration you want to stitch so what is the maximum dose possible and how to avoid the uh, dose overload or the toxicity of the local anesthetic agent we will also cover the digital nerve block how to basically give the uh, anesthesia in fingers and uh, we should avoid the uh, circumferential infiltration that is the uh, ring block we should avoid uh, and so so on so friends it is going to be complete whole series and uh, uh, you will find it interesting so stay tuned till the end so the main highlight as i said will be the correct administration of uh, local anesthesia doses and calculation combination digital nerve block and importance of metrisectomy the live surgery that is uh, total and partial nail excision will be uploaded in a separate video so as i said friends uh, basically the correct calculation maximum doses calculation is very vital part of the locancy administration and every trainee every uh, young uh, surgeon or uh, basically young doctor should be aware of it just remember friends we have two formulation of lignocaine available which is one of the common uh, local anesthetic agent used that is lignocaine or lidocaine that is plain lignocaine the maximum dose is 3 to 5 or with ADR the dose is 4 to 7 so for the sake of remembrance and to be on safer side it is 4 for the plain lignocaine 4 mg per kg body weight and uh, 5 maximum dose for the uh, lignocaine with ADR so 5 mg per kg body weight will be the maximum dose basically there are two formulation available of lignocaine one is 1% another is 2% so 1% uh, means there is 10 mg of drug per ml and 2% means this is 20 mg uh, of drug per ml just remember this fact this will help us to calculate the maximum dose as you will see so the lignocaine with ADR is commonly coded red and the other lignocaine will be coded as simply as a blue or black so uh, from the covering only you can make out whether we are having uh, this lignocaine is plain or with ADR and please remember that whenever we are using uh, uh, lignocaine with ADR, don't use it where the, there are end arteries like the end of the fingers or toes or the nose tape or ear lobule. And so the, this is the formulation available, friends, and is one of the uh, common question asked that what is the preservative use? It is the methyl paraben, and there is a 20 milligram as I said, it is two percent bile. So there is 20 mg of lignocaine hydrochloride per ml, plain lignocaine and usually you will find this color only, this will be generally blue or black and white and with ADR it will be red. Then also here that uh, always give a test dose, document this before uh, giving the local anesthesia that we have given the test dose, use the insulin syringe, uh, inject intradermally a uh, small amount of drug and always mark and always uh, document it that we have given the anesthesia after the uh, test dose was given this is important friends especially for my young uh, surgeons young trainees and interns that uh, that is a, of medical legal importance always wait for three to five minutes after giving the uh, basically test dose and it is usually the job of a scrub nurse and she will give the test dose and document it that there is no adverse reaction coming to the maximum dose calculation friends as i said plain will be four and with the adr will be five so in a normal adult of 70 kg the maximum dose will be 280 milligram of the plain lignocaine and 350 milligram for the lignocaine with adr 
so if we remember if the commonly available formulation will be 2% so we will be keeping our calculation that way only so 2% mean this is 20 mg per ml so 280 mg 280 mg of plain legal organ divided by 20 that is 14 ml and 350 by 20 that is just remember for the sake of memory is 18 ml to be precisely 17.5 ml since we have taken 5 in 4 to 7 limit so we always take uh, to keep it simple is 14 is the maximum uh, amount of the solution of 2% lignocaine you can use in a plain lignocaine and 18 ml will be the maximum solution uh, you can use uh, with ADR. For the sake of repetition you have a child who is 10 kg in weight so the maximum dose uh, of the plain lignocaine will be 2 ml and the maximum dose with ADR will be 2.5 ml of 2% lignocaine. So friends, just remember that that is the maximum amount of drug you can administer to a child uh, who is 10 kg uh, of weight. So there's another hack that if we add uh, uh, sodium bicarb that is sodium bicarbonate one milliequivalent per 10 ml of the lignocaine solution which we have made, then it will have a faster onset of action and in our personal experience that will also reduce the burning sensation which patient experience after injection of the uh, local anesthetic agent. So you can incorporate this habit that you can add small amount of uh, this soda bica one milliequivalent per 10 ml of the lignocaine solution and uh, you will have a better uh, basically faster onset and a better patient experience. And the reference for this I have given here you can go through this paper our choice or our practice is that uh, if 1% is not available we always convert 2% solution to 1% so whether you are using uh, this with ADR or without uh, ADR we take 10 ml of 2% solution then uh, in a bowl we add 10 ml of NS to make it 1% and then you can add similar amount of uh, uh, basically bupubacane which is available as 0.5% and so if you have 10 ml uh, lignocaine uh, with ADR then we add 10 ml NS to make it 20 and you can add 20 ml of the basically bupubacane you will have 40 ml solution you can use it uh, without any fear. Maximum dose for bupivacaine is 175 mg uh, without ADR and 225 mg um, with ADR. But just remember the uh, amount of solution you take of 1% lignocaine uh, is uh, you can take similar amount of solution for bupivacaine. If you are taking 5 ml 1% then you can simply add 5 ml of 0.5% bupivacaine to make it 10 ml. So lignocaine will have a faster onset reaction and uh, we work in have a longer onset of a longer basically duration of the effect so patient will have a better uh, experience and better pain control so the use of uh, two different anesthetic agent that is lignocaine plus bupacaine uh, basically decreases the likelihood of exceeding the therapeutic maximum dose of individual agent and uh, it is particularly useful if you are uh, practicing the repair of hemoil hernia under local anesthesia so simply you can administer 45 ml of this mixture that will be 22.5 of 1% lignocaine with ADR and 22.5 uh, ml of bupac in 0.5% combination and uh, usually it's suffice for a unilateral hernia repair. I have uh, uh, used this local anesthesia technique for the uh, hernia repair and uh, patient usually have in at the onset have some uh, issues but uh, we have not encountered any major difficulty and patient can be uh, easily operated easily hernia repair can be mesh repair can be done easily under local anesthesia it will avoid the basically need for a spinal anesthesia and the sequelae of the uh, spinal anesthesia if you want the reference and uh, basically the literature backup so this is a good paper from the Lichtenstein Institute and they have uh, shared their experience of around 12,500 uh, hernia repair under local anesthesia with a similar combination of lignocaine and bupivacaine and viewers you can go through this paper to have a more in-depth understanding of the concept. Let's talk about the digital nerve block friends. There are basically four uh, nerves on either side of a uh, uh, digit uh, and uh, two on either side that traverse sides of digit the advantage of providing uh, basically the advantage of digital nerve block is 
that it has a longer duration of action and uh, if you rather uh, injecting at the fingertip uh, that will distort the anatomy so there is no distortion of the anatomy for usually the distal nerve block 1 to 3 ml of 2% lidocaine provides adequate anesthesia without the use of a large volume uh, the great toe or thumb can also receive some additional superficial innervation proximally and a slightly larger volume solution uh, that is dorsal skin wheel may be needed if patient doesn't get uh, adequate anesthesia so friends uh, i have been using this distal nerve block since my uh, junior residency days and it is very safe very effective and if you incorporate this technique in your uh, surgical practice you will find it quite gratifying and satisfying to the patient also we keep the distal nerve block uh, it takes some time basically to anesthetize the nerve the nerve sheath and uh, i have noticed the impatient trainee keep on adding the volume so just wait for some minutes two to three minutes by watch minimum rub that area massage that area and you will have a desired effect technique of giving distal nerve block we have demonstrated beautifully in the second part that will be the live surgery and you will have better understanding another technique which we uh, have seen that uh, surgeon or trainee follows is giving the circumferential ring block friends it requires large volume and for a small digit uh, there can be uh, i mean uh, quite hazardous also that uh, it can lead to the uh, vascular compromise and uh, uh, may require uh, amputation of the finger so be very very careful and if we inject large volume like 7 to 8 ml in smaller digits that may compromise the blood supply so use small syringe incorporate the habit of distal nerve block and uh, that will be safer for you and for your patient this is a small sketch which i have drawn for you guys so just just uh, imagine this is the cross section of thumb uh, thumb or the great toe so upper surface uh, is uh, towards the upper side and the flexor surface is down so there is a bone and uh, there is a flexor tendon so they are basically the two arteries on this side two arteries on that side and there are four nerves two on either side so we have to uh, only anesthetize the side of the finger there is no point giving the uh, circumferential uh, infiltration because there are no nerve endings there so uh, as i said we have demonstrated this distal nerve block in the light surgery so in the second part you will have a better understanding basic pathology in the ingrowing toenail IGTN is the abnormal lateral nail groove which get inside the skin fold so simple nail avulsion or wedge section of corner nail will lead to definitely high recurrence rate so simple nail excision is not uh, advocated we have to ablate the this uh, general matrix or the lateral nail fold that is the metrisectomy uh, to avoid the recurrence of this lateral nail fold and uh, this uh, we need to uh, do it uh, with the help of uh, either chemical method that is the sodium hydroxide or with phenol but we, what we follow is uh, the surgical ablation with the help of a surgical knife always get to the basic coagulation profile for your patient and uh, during my residency days uh, we were basically stuck with a child we were doing the nail excision and uh, child had uh, some uh, coagulation disorder and uh, the bleeding just didn't stop and we have to inject the recombinant factor uh, for basically that patient this IGTN was one of my favorite surgery during my junior residency days and uh, I mean I was uh, always looking for this surgery so i'll share my experience in this patient who was a 35 year female already had a excision and she had presented the recurrent symptoms uh, after simple excision of the nail and so uh, bilateral she had bilateral problems so uh, on one side uh, we did uh, basically on the left side the first procedure we'll show in the second video we did uh, total nail excision with the metri uh, basically ablation of the this nail bed that is the uh, uh, that will show surgical ablation of the nail bed most of for this condition is straightforward patient will complain of pain there will be a, some suppuration or uh, I, I mean there can be some abscess formation also and you can easily uh, see the uh, basically large nail uh, fold this is the picture 
uh, of this patient this ingrowing toenail there's be hypertrophic later fold with an ingrown edge there be ragged edges so the diagnosis is straightforward main causes are improperly trimmed distal nails when we uh, cut the nails too much and the corners are grown inside the skin or there can be improperly fitting shoes excessive uh, pressure or trauma to the nail but in my opinion most of these problems are uh, congenital the nails are like that only and they keep on basically growing inside the skin edge the sake of completion there are three stages of ingrown nails one is stage one is lateral nail fold arrhythmia mild edema pain with pressure stage two will be increased symptom there's a drainage there's infection or if there's a presence of granulated granulation tissue then it becomes a stage three for stage two and three the surgical intervention is indicated and this talk here with take home message that remember the correct dose and max maximum dose calculation especially in kids and uh, always give the test dose document it that we have given the test dose always take the written consent that nail excision to be done under local anesthesia after the test dose keep your crash tray ready friends we have encountered two cases of overdosing and believe you me they are very difficult to manage usually require icu care and use the combination local anesthesia to be on safer side and for better patient compliance better patient outcome because ligonocaine will give faster onset of action and the people can have a longer duration of pain relief in the second part the, of this series that will be the total nail excision with the metrisectomy that is the ablation of that uh, lateral nail fold we will demonstrate in the second part and uh, as i said uh, the live surgery video will be available first ex exclusively on our app and in members only section so please do download the app or join the channel membership to enjoy the early premium access i also take uh, this opportunity to thank my uh, channel members who are supporting this initiative and helping us to uh, keep this initiative running and these are one of uh, some of the founder members of our channel we are really grateful to you guys you friends in the second part of this series uh, stake nectar the best is yet to be happy learning thank you very much